So when we want to swap out the components in our MacBook Pro, the first thing we need to do is flip it upside down and unscrew these 10 screws on the case. So you're going to need a very tiny but pretty good screwdriver for this. So you just start at any place you'd like and unscrew the screws. Now I have a little piece of painter's tape over here that I stick the screws to so that they don't fly away when I'm doing this. Once you get all the screws out, you can remove the back. And I'll just set that to the side. And now you can see all the parts inside the computer. So here's the battery, here's the hard drive, here's the DVD drive, and here's the memory. First thing we want to do is remove the hard drive. So before we can take it out, there's a little bracket here that holds it down. So I'll unscrew those screws and lift this bracket out. Place it to the side there. And then there's a little strip of tape on the drive. You can lift it up. And then there's a SATA connector here. Just pop that off and place the old drive to the side. Now to put the new SSD drive in, you just want to line up the two slots on the card and the drive. Pop them back together. Lay the drive down where the mechanical one was. Place the mounting bracket on and screw it back in. And that's it, the new hard drive's in place. Next thing we want to do is remove the RAM from the case. So if you look here, there's two two gigabyte chips of memory. So I'll pop these two pins on either side and it comes up and then you just gently wiggle it out. There's another chip below that. Again, you just gently wiggle it out place that to the side and I have a package of two 8 gigabyte chips so instead of having 4 gigs of RAM we're gonna have 16 now And if you notice there's a slot in the RAM it's about two-thirds of the way over so you can only put it in the right way if you had it flipped over the wrong way it just would the slot wouldn't line up and you couldn't put it in so same as I, when I took it out just gently slide it in push it down Take the other one, gently slide it in. Now you want to remove the DVD drive and there's three straps that you need to unhook. There's one here, here, and here. And you just kind of tilt them back and then there are six screws. Three of them go with a regular screwdriver and then the other three use a hex screw to take out. So you take those out and replace them. And then you would put the new caddy back in place with the hard drive in it and screw the screws back in. Put the lid on and screw the screws in and you're all done.